Today we're talking about militia and loyalist units in the southern strategy. So, like in the first game, you still have armies and leaders chasing each other around the map. But in this game, you also have this kind of very bitter partisan struggle running parallel to that, running underneath it in, in the background, as it were. And that's dealt with abstractly through these partisan boxes, which hold these irregular units. Loyalists for the crown player, and militia units for the patriot player. And basically, on your turn, you're going to have a pair of impulses. A limited impulse, where you can only take an irregular action and a full impulse where you can take an irregular action, an army action, a navy action, what have you. So how the irregular actions work is if you have the majority of the pieces in a particular colony's box, you can take an irregular action. So here there are four uh, crown uh, loyalist units and three patriot uh, militia units, including the Swamp Fox, we'll get to him in a minute. So I could, as to crown player, remove one of these from the box to take an action. That action could be a, a forage action, which I remove it and then I put a food cube with any of my armies. So now my army has an extra food cube. Or it could be a recruit action. So I take two of the pieces and now I get to put an extra unit with my army. And that's how you get more guys. Now having done that, I now have less units than the other side. So now the other side is the one that can take the irregular actions. Um, so the more I do this, the more I use the irregulars, the less able I am to use them. Now there are a couple of special actions that each uh, side can do that are, are, are limited to, to that side. So if we go down to Georgia here, we have a couple of uh, loyalist units, and I could use one of those units to hold Augusta. So the way holding works is that unit will serve as like a normal unit as far as supply goes. So I can move this guy out of here and this is still part of my supply chain. In fact, when you have a holding loyalist, it increases the reach of your supply so you're able to throw supply to two areas. So instead of having to have someone here and go boom, 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 I can just go here and just jump over one entirely. And if I have, you know, another, if I didn't have these guys here, well, the guy could jump through this vacant area over to get the food to that guy. So that's, uh, that's a pretty powerful thing. Now, the Patriot player has a raid action. If he has the majority of pieces uh, in an area, he can remove one to make a raid attempt. And basically, he's going to roll the die, and he's going to add all the pieces he has left in the box. And if it's six or more, the raid succeeds. And that raid could remove a food cube from an army. So let's say we have this army over here, and we're going to remove that food cube. So now, now he's stuck. Now he can't move. Uh, it can eliminate a unit if there's not a leader there, there is less than two units in the army. And it can eliminate a holding loyalist. So if we had a holding loyalist here in 96, and this guy was to raid and was successful, then this guy would be eliminated. Now, the Swamp Fox is a special piece in that once he comes out, um, he's going to stay there, and from then on, the Patriot player gets to take these actions even if he's outnumbered. So that's pretty powerful and allows him to keep doing things. And since he's going to stay there, it's always, he's always going to provide a plus one to that raid attempt. Uh, that's pretty good. On the flip side, however, um, he is not able to take the recruit action once the Swamp Fox comes out because Swamp Fox is kind of leading all the guys himself there. They're not going to join the main Patriot army. So that's a little look at how these pieces work in the game. The other thing that they impact is if you have the majority of those pieces, you're going to produce extra supply. And uh, so the more, the better you do with the irregulars, the better you're going to do uh, on the operational army level, and it's the presence of those armies that allow you to get more of those pieces out because they're put into a cup and drawn out of a cup every turn. So the better your military presence, the more likely you're going to get useful stuff pulled out of that cup. And that, in a nutshell, is how that works.